Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Broussard. You may remember me from some of my past videos discussing my inventions like the standard compression system. This is the future of scooter design and the future of our sport. And the first tongue lock deck integration and universal braking system video. To further clarify this illustration, I would like to introduce the new tongue lock deck integration system, otherwise known as TDI. I'm here today to revisit my patented tongue lock deck integration system, otherwise known as TDI by Proto. My goal has always been to standardize the construction and compatibility of freestyle scooters, and through my brand, Proto, we were able to prototype what I believe to be the best possible way to construct a freestyle scooter for the sake of scooter riding and scooter riders. True standards, nothing more, nothing less. If you look at the history of scooter part development, you'll quickly realize that all of the first deck manufacturers came to the scooter industry with a background in bicycle manufacturing. They saw handlebars, a clamp, forks, two wheels, and naturally decided to complete our scooters with a welded frame like a bicycle. The biggest problem here is that scooters are not bicycles and these people were not scooter riders. They created a system of welded one-piece decks that continue to plague our industry today with incompatible disposable products. I often compare a one-piece deck to a skateboard with its trucks, which last forever, being permanently attached to the wooden deck that will eventually break at some point. So every time you break your deck, you have to replace new trucks? That just makes no practical sense. The neck is the heart of the scooter, and if it's properly designed, can withstand the abuse of a dozen or more extrusions. So why would you ever permanently attach the neck to the deck, which you know will naturally wear out and break? The answer is pure short-sightedness. The people who started welding one-piece decks did it because it was easy to do for them and their skill set, but it was never with the longevity and health and sustainability of the scooter industry in mind. Over the past 10 years, the TDI system by Proto has undergone numerous revisions and improvements. I started with bolted portable scooters that allowed interchangeable components, but they were never designed for freestyle abuse. Then I welded the two pieces together, which made it temporarily stronger, but eliminated the interchangeability, the replaceability, and the customizability, and created a market of disposable scooter decks. The clear benefits of having a two-piece deck were overwhelming, so I went back to two-piece deck development. First experimenting with modifications on existing two-piece decks, then trying my own version of a two-piece design with an interlocking dovetail, the first version of the Nex was unrideable, but it was proof of the theory. The first rideable version of the TDI Nex was created in 2010 for use with a fully CNC'd 6 inch by 22 inch mega ramp scooter that I rode on the first three Nitro Circus Live tours. A heavy duty version and a light duty version were created to test the durability of the design. All designs exceeded my expectations. In 2011, after testing, we went into production with our first TDI Nex, the Orion, which featured a standard press-in headset bearing and came in an 81.5 degree and an 83 degree head tube angle. I used the lightweight geometry from our Mega Scoots, and these necks were compatible with our first production extruded deck, also named the Orion. Some of them broke. The next revision brought back the heavy duty geometry in both head tube angles while allowing more foot space on the decks. None of them broke. By this time the industry was transitioning to integrated headsets so I readopted some of the old lightweight geometry to see how light we could get one of our integrated necks. Some of them broke. Up until this point, I was doing all of my testing with three straight pins for the TDI hardware with a variety of fasteners. They worked, but they didn't work well, so I began testing new types of hardware with my sights set on using shoulder screws for their extremely tight fit. I began modifying stock necks with helicoil inserts so we could start testing larger 8mm single-sided hardware. 
It worked well, but it still did not allow a shoulder screw to pin the necks and decks together. We made a limited number of reinforced integrated necks for the team to test, where the neck itself was actually threaded like a clamp, which allowed us clearance at the top of the hole to fit a full shoulder screw into the neck, allowing it to pin itself into the deck extrusion. After over three years of testing, only one of the team prototypes broke, and it did not fail at the threaded hardware, so we knew that we were good to go. By this point, the demands of riding and riding preferences had changed, as all things do, so I updated the geometry yet again and released the newest revision in the Proto TDI system, the Orion TH necks. The new Orion TH are the first TDI necks featuring the new threaded TDI hardware. The new hardware are custom made shoulder screws that only require one six millimeter Allen key for tightening and actually pin the necks and decks together, virtually eliminating all play in the TDI system. And finally making two piece universal compatibility viable. The new Orion TH Next not only represents a decade of grueling product development, but the name itself stands for the most famous constellation in the night sky, bearing the three stars across Orion the Hunter's belt, like the three bolts in the TDI system, representing space age technology. Also, the street that the skate park I learned to ride at is located on, Orion Way in Carlsbad, California, and lastly, the man who graciously allowed me to use his facilities to pursue my dream and to start my business, Orion Burns, whose family I am forever indebted to. There are no coincidences in the universe and all good things come in threes. As a scooter rider, TDI by Proto gives you the ability to customize every aspect of your scooter with a variety of interchangeable lengths, different widths, profiles, and weights, different head tube angles, and drastically reduces your long-term cost from replacing individual components. If a good one-piece deck costs $200 MSRP and the current American-made TDI necks cost $150, and the interchangeable DEX plates cost $100, totaling $250 MSRP, your initial investment into the TDI system appears to be more expensive. However, when you replace your broken one-piece deck, you will spend $400 for two one-piece decks as opposed to $350 for a TDI necks and two TDI dex extrusions. On that same note, if you buy 10 one-piece decks, you will spend $2,000 versus one TDI necks and 10 TDI dex that total $1,150, giving you a total savings of $850 over the course of 10 TDI dex, which could last you years as a scooter manufacturer, TDI by Proto allows you to experiment with all kinds of different component designs without having to invest in a fully welded scooter deck. It also opens up a whole new world of possibilities using dissimilar materials that cannot and do not need to be welded anymore. This also totally eliminates the welding process itself and the heat treat process along with all of the quality control issues that go along with those extra processes in one piece deck manufacturing. Utilizing a flat extrusion makes TDI decks a perfect candidate for all printing and graphics applications because they don't have a neck and head tubes sticking out of them like a one piece deck and they lay perfectly flat. As a scooter distributor, TDI by Proto gives you the ability to transport decks and complete scooters at huge savings. Approximately 100 one-piece decks can be shipped on one pallet in their awkwardly shaped triangle boxes, mostly filled with air, whereas over 400 TDI necks and decks can fit on that same pallet with quadruple the density. 
Essentially, four container loads can be consolidated into one container, drastically reducing your shipping and logistics expenses. As a scooter dealer, if a shop stocks two different TDI necks and five different TDI decks, they can offer 10 possible TDI combinations while only stocking seven component SKUs for an $800 MSRP investment. To offer the same amount of options to their customers, they would need to stock 10 one-piece decks valued at $2,000 MSRP in inventory that may or may not sell due to customer demand and market trends. TDI is actually less risk in a rapidly changing market and at these volumes creates a $1,200 savings or a 60% reduction in inventory cost while still being able to offer all of the same options to their customers. It doesn't stop there though. The benefits of TDI become exponential when you start adding more compatible components to the TDI system. For example, if a shop stocks five TDI necks and 10 TDI decks, now they have 50 possible TDI combinations while only stocking 15 SKUs for a $1,750 investment. To offer the same amount of options to the riders, a shop would have to stock 50 different one-piece decks valued at $10,000 in inventory, creating a TDI savings of $8,250, or an 83% reduction in inventory cost, while not sacrificing any of their customers' preferences. Now imagine a family of TDI components where you have 10 Proto TDI necks and 50 Proto TDI decks, again with different lengths, widths, profiles, weights, colors, graphics, etc. Now we have 500 possible combinations while only manufacturing and stocking 60 interchangeable components. To match this volume with one-piece decks, a shop would have to stock 500 different one-piece decks with a value of over $100,000 MSRP versus $6,150 with TDI by Proto which represents a 94% reduction in cost. As a scooter enthusiast, the world of possibilities that the Proto TDI system has the ability to create is absolutely mind-bending. As if that wasn't enough to convince you, one of the most unassuming benefits of the TDI system is the fact that by standardizing the inner width of the TDI decks, to fit the TDI necks, you also are standardizing the width of the rear wheel dropouts, which makes your rear wheel spacers and your axles identical and interchangeable on every single TDI scooter. If you have ever worked on your own scooter or worked in a retail shop working on other people's scooters, you will definitely appreciate the value in having these components standardized. Lastly, riders should be demanding fully customizable, truly innovative product because TDI by Proto is undoubtedly the future of scooter design and the future of our sport. And that is not the first time I've said that. Ah, how many hours have I been talking for?